is a paid advertisement for Spin Brush. Okay, yeah, I think that's the perfect place for my last piece of garlic. A plus no winter wonderland decorating if I do say so myself. It almost feels like I'm in a snow globe or something in here now. You see, I used to live in a place where it snowed every winter. And now I live where there's hardly ever any snow days. And I really start to miss it around this time of year. So I decided to make it snow in this tiny bathroom. It looks pretty good, huh? But there's one thing we need to do before we're done with our snow day bathroom makeover. Write a snow message. Back when I lived in Ohio, my mom used to always write us nice messages with the ice on our car window. And I feel like after all those nice messages, it's my turn to leave a snow message for her to find. Even if that means I have to bring in my own snow. You can find fake snow like this at any major retailer. Now you can spray this lightly for a more clear application or you can layer onto it a couple times for a nice thick layer of snow, like this. Looks great. To figure out which tool will work best to clear away the snow for my message, I'm going to do an experiment to test out each of my options. I have three toothbrushes that I can use. My mom's standard toothbrush, my brother has his vibrating toothbrush, and my brand new kid's spin brush. My brother's toothbrush and my kid's spin brush are both electric toothbrushes, but mine has a spinning head. Oscillation like this is a super cool feature of the kid's spin brush because it occurs naturally around us in nature all the time. Can you think of anything that oscillates like the kid's spin brush head? Clocks, the motion of swings, and how atoms move around molecules are all examples of oscillation. This powerful spinning head is why I'm hypothesizing that the spin brush will do the best job at clearing away snow for my message. But there's really only one fun way to test it out in a side-by-side -side experiment. Okay, so my mom's toothbrush did a pretty okay job at clearing away the snow for my snow message, but it obviously doesn't compare to the two electric toothbrushes. Now the difference between my brother's toothbrush and my spin brush toothbrush is smaller, but it's definitely there. My spin brush totally won at clearing away the most snow, but they're both electric toothbrushes, so what's the difference? The difference between the two brushes is the mode of action. My brother's toothbrush uses the vibration of bristles to help clean while my spin brush toothbrush uses oscillation, a physical back and forth motion like we talked about before. Imagine a windshield, okay? You need the oscillating back and forth motion of the windshield wipers in order to clean off dirt and debris. I mean, you couldn't just vibrate the dirt off, I mean, that would take a lot of vibration. That's why I thought the spin brush would be the most effective at cleaning away snow. Send me a pic if you make your own winter day experiment or have any ideas for DIY makeovers. I know for a lot of us, 2021 is all about making the most with what you got. And that's why leaving little surprises like these are a great way to keep things crafty, creative, and fun. Ruby Rails, signing off.